So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our conjunction video of the week. And today we're going to be covering our conjunction of Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and Ketu. And what happens when Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and Ketu are conjunct in your horoscope? And as all this, we do not know if you have this conjunction, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in and all the other astrological details. Check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, my books, consultations and a link to my school. Maga Vedic Astrology Academy. Uh, so, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Ketu conjunction. Um, this is this is a more heavier than the Rahu conjunction because here a person will kind of bring some self-inflicted cuts and uh, breaks in their life like they will purposely try to sabotage their relationships with brother father uncle gurus and this is a particular conjunction where wisdom comes late in life before they're just like this headless person without any basic intelligence running around and the thing is uh, the anger the frustration is like boiling as soon as they're like born and they're in their adolescence even as toddlers you will see that they have this anger that this is mine i want this you take this and i'm gonna break everything else here the anger issue comes into play because you gotta remember even though jupiter is in this conjunction when Jupiter is surrounded by so many malefics and enemies, like Mercury is its enemy, Mars, Saturn, Ketu are, you know, malefics, Jupiter fails to protect. You know, and especially if Jupiter is retrograde, definitely it'll fail to protect. But here, the protection of Jupiter, even if it's direct, will not be felt so quickly. Um, this is a person who can... These are, this is such an individual, they, their intelligence and wisdom needs to be focused into athleticism. Whether it's martial arts, boxing, running, sprinting, because if they do not release that heavy energy that is built, the anger that is built, you know, like you find some fighters who are like, uh, if I wasn't boxing or if I wasn't, you know, doing martial arts, I would probably be in jail. I would probably be on the streets having being in trouble. Um, and that's what happens, that somehow, because of the blessing of Jupiter, they do get directed to the right place, uh, especially depending upon how strong Jupiter is in this conjunction by its sign placements. But um, usually this person needs a singular focus physical athletic focus for them to even thrive in their school like this person can thrive in school but that they, they have to be first like they need to first go towards athleticism and then studies because then the mind will be more focused the intelligence will be able to focus on things otherwise it's a more of a destructive intelligence because, of course, mind is not involved. But, of course, this conjunction could be aspecting your moon. And especially when it comes to education. Um, first of all, a person will find find it very hard to concentrate on their studies. Um, they, this is not one of those conjunctions where a person can easily become an engineer, technical person, doctor. No, because you got to understand who are the planets that help you to understand things to memorize things to comprehend things is jupiter and mercury and especially when it's a three planetary conjunction um with the two um normal benefics it, it becomes like i said um here a person will probably have major breaks in their education because they have no interest the only time you will find this person doing very well in education is if Jupiter is like in its own sign of Sagittarius, Leo. 
uh, or Jupiter uh, obviously is in Cancer. In Aries too, Jupiter will not be so strong and steady. It'll be much more dominating in that athleticism. You know, so you have to, just by understanding the sign, like in Gemini, they'll be much more into athleticism. You know, communication and media than education. But education always tends to get hurt with this particular conjunction. And the way you can kind of like um, remedy that is by focusing your energy towards physical exertion of energy, like do, going into either athleticism, you know, working out, yoga, not meditation, because me remember, meditation with this conjunction can bring a lot of anger out. So first you have to exert that energy, get that energy out, run, then do meditation. When all that pitta is out, and then you bring in the calmness and then you focus on study, then it's like, it's like a dance. It's like a beautiful dance. Um, and especially in a female's case, boy, I would never would want you to get married early with this particular conjunction. Um, you're just not going to find a man who will be calm and peaceful and uh, orthodox in your own you know, uh, personal desire. Uh, you will find very macho, angry, maybe even abusive men early in life. So, because you got to understand after 28, Mars calms down. Okay? So, you will find much more mature men. After 36, Saturn calms down because Saturn matures. So, they won't have such a pessimistic outlook. Like, women will usually find a husband who's very pessimistic, you know, in nature. Very irritated in nature. Very dominating in nature. It's like you're trying to get a fruit which is not ripe. And you're like, okay, marry me. Okay, well, you're going to get a sour mango instead of the sweet mango you're looking for. And naturally, once marriage will be delayed with this. Especially in a female's case. Okay. Um, and also, uh, one of the things you also see is issues with communication. Such people will either have stutter in their voice. They may have speech impediment disorder. They'll talk a little bit late. Somehow, some way, communication. Maybe they have a hard time pronouncing words. Okay. So I hope this has helped and given some insights into this conjunction. Bye-bye.